The U.S. and Japan getting ready for a trade deal. It would allow some imports of steel from Japan without the tariff. Greater Trimble is in Arkansas, where U.S. Steel is uh, doing a groundbreaking for a new $3 billion steel mill. You just spoke to the CEO of U.S. Steel. What's his reaction to the Japan trade steel deal? He's actually pleased with the deal, Stu, and that's because of the quota you mentioned. Uh, imports will be untaxed up to a certain point, but then that tariff will kick back in. And there were concerns that doing away with the tariffs entirely would lead to a glut of foreign steel on the market, especially coming from China. But he believes that the way this deal is arranged, it'll still be good for U.S. steel companies like his. And he says that this is a credit not only to the Biden administration, but also President Trump's administration, who put these tariffs in place in the first place and forced this deal to be negotiated first with the EU and then with Japan. Listen. With President Trump, he had a good understanding of how important it was to have steel. You know, you, what we used to say all the time is you, you really can't have a country unless you're making steel because it builds so many things and is in so many products. So he understood that and he did some good, important first efforts at that. And I think with uh, uh, Commerce Secretary Ross and now Commerce Secretary Raimondo, I think they've had a really good handoff on this. And steel prices hit record highs in 2021. They've since come back down quite a bit, like a lot of commodities have. But Dave Burrett believes that those prices are going to level. And he says that higher prices, of course, are good for his company, but they're also good for investment in new mills like the one that they're breaking ground on here today. Stuart, it'll be more energy efficient and it'll double the steel making capacity here on site and double the American jobs here in Arkansas. All right, gotcha. Grady Trimble, right in the middle of it. Thanks very much, Grady.